Hello guys, in this tutorial we're trying to use authorization and authentication to write tests for them. So as you have actually saw in the previous tutorials, I, was, I started to work on the store method and write more tests for the validation. But in this, in this tutorial I'm trying to write more, more tests for the show method. So the show method is for showing the post and there is something we need to put into consideration and it is that not everyone can basically access the the show method so ev i mean only the authorized user and authenticated user can access this show the authenticated which they are logged in and the authorized which this post is belongs to them so when we want to say this post is belongs to them we are using the authorized so we are authorizing the show and with the post passing the post if we go to the policy i can basically show you what's have been written in the post policy as you can see here there is a very simple method calling show which we are accepting users and post and we are actually comparing the author id with the user id and check it if the user uh, id is equal to the author id and that's it so the authorization is a very simple uh, i mean thing so it's not really any anything fancy. One more thing I would like to share with you, it's about the API. So as you remember in the last tutorial, we did not have this middleware auth API. So the route could be accessed without authenticated. But now we have a middleware and we are using auth API, which is a very simple way to authenticate, to authenticate the request uh, by the token. And Laravel has uh, actually a docu documentation for this auth, of how to use this auth API. As you can see here, we are using the middleware auth API and our post rows is in this middleware. So now if you go to the feature post test, you can see that we have wrote this test in the last tutorial. So now if I run it again, it should definitely throw an error because the, because the user is not authenticated and we are trying to validate a request to access, sorry, access an endpoint. So I will say vendor bin php unit filter equal, definitely, yeah. So what should we do in this case? I have actually created a method here and the method is creating a token. So I'm actually creating a user and filling the API token field with a random string. Maybe you ask yourself, what is API token? If you, went, if you go to the documentation of Laravel, you can see the API token needs to have a field in the database, in the user table. And if we go to the database migration, you can also see it here that I have created the field in the user migrations. The field is API token, 80 characters, nullable, unique, and default should be null. So if we get back now to where we were, uh, you can see that when we want to create a token, we are filling the API token and Laravel uses this API token to log in to the user, log in to the system, sorry. And we are filling the property user in this class, which is the here, protected property user. And we're also returning an array. The array contains the authorization, the token, and the accepts application JSON, which is the method. So if we get back to the test, now what we can do here to make this actually test success is to send the token so i will create the token and that's it if i run the test again now it should not throw an error and yep so but i don't want to repeat this for every test so what should i do in this case i will try to define a test case, a setup public function setup and in the setup i will create the token on every test because the setup will run on every test. So I will try to use this here and pass it to the token. So I will say this token and then protected token. So instead of calling this create code token every time, I will just use the token property here. And I can use this token for every test. So I will try to use it here too. I will try to use it here and for every test. Okay. And also here. 
we don't need to create this user and calling it with B because we are sending the token. So I will remove this one. So now if I run the test again, I mean, now I will run all of the tests. Yeah, one more test we need to fix, which is in the actually integration test. So if I zoom in a little bit, you can see here we need to pass the token create token and I will remove this one here if I run the test again cool now we have seven tests 18 assertion everything works fine now we get back to the feature post test and I'm trying to write the scenarios here so I will write tests for these scenarios the first scenarios I would like to write is test uh, show should throw an error if the user is not locked in actually this is a general scenario this is not related to the show it's related to the resource but i'm writing test for it for the show specifically the second scenario it could be test show should throw an error if the post was if the post ID was wrong, let's say post ID was wrong or the post or the post was wrong. I mean, the post not found. I mean, there is no, no, no such post in the database. So if the post ID was wrong, yeah, something like this. And I will write another scenario. In this case, I will say test show should throw an error if the user is not authorized to retrieve the post okay and one more thing I would like to explain here is the authorization in this case authorize I will separate the authorization meaning to two parts the first part is of the authorization first part is um, that the user uh, on a role which with that role cannot access the endpoint for example and the second part is the second part is the user the this uh, the second part could be this post is not belongs to the user so the user has the role to access the post but this post is not belongs to the user I could explain actually authorization at these two uh, meaning here but for now we only test the second part and the fourth scenario which I would like to write a test for it is test show should return the post if everything goes well now we have four scenarios which I would like to write tests for them and yeah we can start with the first one so the first test could be thrown error if the user is not logging so public function uh, test show should throw an error if user is not logged in okay now what we can do here is saying this post I want to call API uh, posts no need for show I will pass one let's say for example and I'm actually I need to assert uh, the status should be 403 or self as I have already told you you can define all of your mm, constants in the parent class which is a forbidden for the authentication okay now if I write if I run this test let's see what will happen so mm -hmm. okay 405 it's like okay because it is get not post and it's also okay it is 302 the error is 302 
So let's get this 302. Where can I find this 302? There is no 302 here. Okay, I will just define 302 for now. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So now we try to access this actually post and we got a 302. One thing I would like to uh, tell you here about this 302 and the reason that is happening is actually because of the middleware. So if we go to the kernel, you can see we now have uh, actually a, in, an API here and also here in auth. Uh, as you have remembered, we are using the auth API. We are using auth and passing the API to us. So if we go to the auth and gate uh, middleware, you can see that there is a redirect to. So when a request comes in, and here the middleware checks if the request expects JSON or not. If it's not expect JSON, so then it will redirect us to the login. So this is the case that we are uh, actually getting 302. Uh, but if we change that, for example, from let's say if we go to the future post and instead of using get, if we use JSON, then it will not throw this error. But for now, for the sake of this test, I will not just touch this and I will continue with this test. Now let's go to the second scenario. Second scenario is saying, hey, uh, the test should show through error if the post ID was wrong. So now I will say test should, should throw an error if post ID was wrong. So in this case, we should be logged in, logged into the system. So I will create a token here, but we should now get 404 because it's throwing 404. Yeah. And I'm, I'm also using resource. So in this case, yeah, it should throw 404. If I run this test now, let's see what will happen. Cool. So one, two tests, two assertions we have. Now we have uh, wrote the second scenario. And now the third scenario, which is, is about authorizing. So in this case, I will try to write a test uh, like this. Test show should throw an error if post not belongs to the user. Okay, now I will create a post here, post factory post class and then I will say create yep but the okay but the author ID it could be anything I mean okay let's see what is the author ID if the factory is defined this for us or is thrown error let's see what is the author ID of this post the author ID is zero okay cool the author ID is zero so we will pass zero here, okay, author ID. So now we are actually sending request uh, to show the post with, uh, uh, oh sorry, the post, I mean we should not pass the author ID here, we should, post, we should pass the ID. So we are passing the ID and we are now expecting a 300 and uh, 403 which is yeah so let's say self forbidden yes http forbidden why because this post is not belongs to anyone i mean the author id is zero so even me uh, I, I can't really uh, take a look at it to see it so i will now run the tests and let's see what is the results Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So yeah, we have wrote our third scenario. Now we will write the last scenario. The last one is return if everything return successful if everything goes well. So test show should return should return post if all goes well. So I will create the post now. And I will create the token here before of the post because I need the user. Uh, all right. And uh, 
Now I'll pass the author ID here, author ID to this user ID. And then I will use this token. Okay, I think I missed something here because uh, I, I made a mistake. Sorry, I made a mistake. We need to change this create token to use the token because I have the token property here. So no need for passing the tokens to every API. So, yep. Um, yeah, cool. And we have this. We also pass this token. And now I should get HTTP OK and Azert JSON. Azert JSON. I would like to assert data and in the data I need to assert for example title so say post title so if I run this test again not again I mean this is the first time as you can see it's written uh, to okay it's succeed succeeding in, the test is succeeded and uh, we have two assertions here so yeah, we have wrote about four scenarios and on each scenario we check the authentication, we also test the authorization, we also test uh, if the post ID was wrong actually. As you can see here, we, we pass the uh, one which is this post ID is not exist even. Let me change this to HTTP 404 and yeah. I think that's it uh, for this uh, tutorial and uh, we will write more tests in the next tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and we'll see you later.